is 12 and O is 16. Now, bear in mind, this one is like comparing the kgs. If they use the same unit, 40 kg, very heavy. Ca, calcium, heavier than oxygen and carbon. But the lightest is always carbon, if you compare the three things. But of course, we are not really using kg. Alright? We are just uh, giving you a sense of understanding. So, this one, the relative mass would be 40 plus 12 plus 3 pieces of 16, isn't it? Oxygen, they have 3 pieces of atom, alright? So you have 52 plus 48, that would give you 100, right? Then you need to see this one, D. D, H3PO4. Now H, I know is 1. P, I need to check page 177 of the textbook. That's phosphorus. Phosphorus has 20, 31 and oxygen has 16. So I can do my thing. 3 times 1, 31. And then 4 atoms of oxygen. 4 oxygen atoms, 4 times 16. So you are able to get 3 plus 31 plus 64. And 95 plus 3, 98. Okay, it's a relative mass. Now, the last one of question 3 would be E. Cu and O3, 2. Now, Cu is given as 64, nitrogen is given as 14. Oxygen is given as 16. You have to pay special attention to this because it has brackets. Now I want you to look at this two. This two means you have to perform multiplication on this and also this. But I have some conventional way of doing this which is I add up all together inside the bracket first. Right? Inside the bracket first. Now nitrogen 14 and then this three times of oxygen will it give us 48 yes so you get 48 and you have to times 2 for both of them okay what I do is I settle the calculation inside the square bracket first this will give me 62 62 times 2 So you will get 2 to 4, 2 to 12, 6 to 12. So you get 1, 8, 8. The relative mass. Number 4, let's go back to the page. Number 4, Gibson CaSO4 dot 2 H2O is widely used in plastering of walls and ceilings. Show that the relative molecule formula mass of Gibson is 172. Let's prove that it is 172. Let's memorize first CaSO4 2 H2O. Alright. So now let's write the formula first. CaSO4 dot 2 H2O. Do not be scared by this dot. This is just one of the chemical uh, chemical names for hydrated uh, compound, meaning they add water. So nevertheless, it's still the same, you just add. Given information, C is 40, sulfur is 32, O is 16, and the H is 1. You can work it out, 40 plus 32 plus 64. Why 64? Because 4 O, okay, 4 O simply has 4 times 16, equals to 64. 4 pieces of oxygen. This one. So plus the 2 in front actually covers the calculation for this and this. Alright, so we just put 2 and then the bracket I put because 2 plus 1, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 16 is 18. Water molecule has 18 RMM. 
so the calculation would give us 36,6472. Hundred, this is consistent with the proving and the answer in the question itself. The question says prove that the relative volume formula mass is 172. Okay, you can have a look. This is it. Now, number five, the element chlorine forms a compound with oxygen with a molecular formula Cl2ON. The relative molecular mass of the compound is 183. What is the value of N? You see, they give us the value and the formula. They want us to work out the Cl2ON. They want you to find the value of N. All right? They are also giving us 183. What does 183 mean? It means uh, the, the RAM, relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5, but oxygen is 16. So can I put 2 times 35.5 and then plus N times 16? Because the RAM of oxygen is 16. That would equal to 183. So 71 plus 16 N equals to 183. So 16n equals to 183 minus 71. So that will give you 1, 1, 2. So n will be 7. n is 7.